This mini scheme is going to be focusing on a specific alignment out of dollar that I think is really advantageous given the most recent patch with some of the changes they made to deep blue zones and some of the changes they made to blitzing. So I'm going to be breaking this down. This is in any for me, any playbook that has uh, the dime three, two or the dollar formation. And what you're going to want to do here is in your coaching adjustments, turn auto flip off auto alignment to base. We're going to set a couple of audibles here. We have DB fire two hot blitz three edge blitz three. And then this last one, you can really put whatever you want to have in here. I actually really like to put cover four uh, quarters or cover four palms because match coverage is really good in this game. And then we're going to be coming out in the play cover six Willie every single time. And we're going to be flipping this. So I'm just going to run this with auto flip off and I'm going to be flipping the play at the play call screen. So as you can see, these are kind of the blitzes and then we're just going to go through and I want to show you this kind of alignment. So one of the best alignments to blitz from in this game is a pinched dollar look. And the reason why is because you still get some decent swap exchange on this backside. It really opens up the look for this edge pressure. And the way you pinch your defense is you just hit R1 and you flick your left joystick down. And then if I want to run, let's say I want to run cover six Willie here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a step to the outside. So you see, I just take a step to the outside. And as you see, we get that cover six Willie four man a gap style pressure. That is really good. Now, of course, we want to change the coverage behind this. You know, we can just change the coverage however we want to. We can just shade it underneath, create a cover two, whatever you want. What you don't want to do is what I did just there. When you're running cover six Willie, you do not want to take a step inside like I just did. You want to take a step to the right. And you can contain this blitz. It'll make it a little bit better, as you see. And then if it doesn't come in, normally that defensive tackle will shed a little bit better. But again, the biggest key with cover six Willie is really your user. Your user uh, is probably the most important on the cover six Willie. You've got to take the guard and get him to go outside. Get the guard, take a step to the right, and if you do that, this blitz will come in. Now, one of the most common ways that people are going to try to block this blitz is they are gonna start to double team the nose tackle. And when they start to double team the nose tackle, what we wanna do is we wanna send different blitzes. So one of the blitzes that you can send out of this is you can go to edge blitz three, you're gonna pinch your defense again, and then you're still gonna stand here, and I like to take this slot corner and put him on whatever zone I want. So for example, the defense could look something like this. And as you see, you have this kind of like swap blitz. This is gonna be really good. As you see, you're still gonna get this loop. It's mainly due to the pinch alignment that we create. And as you see, the edge blitz three is still a really, really good blitz. And the main way to counter edge blitz three is gonna be to block a running back on that side. But as you can see, even if it's default pass protection, this blitz is gonna be really, really effective. What is ultimately going to happen is they're going to start to block their running back or they're going to start to slide protect different ways when they start to block a running back consistently or they start to really um, over over slide protect. You're going to go to DB fire two. You're just going to pinch the defense and then you're going to stand kind of in the same spot. I like to slant my D line opposite of the running back. So in this case, we'll slant it to the right and we'll QB contain. And you're going to see that these slot corners, when you base press like that, they really scream at the quarterback. It's super clean pressure, something really simple that you can do. But this, when they start to block people, I think this blitz becomes insanely good. Um, as you see, you get those double team locks, and then that slot corner is going to come in off the outside. Another thing you can do is, if you want to, you can just send four out of this. So if you want to send four like this, for example, you certainly can. And as you'll see here, a lot of times this guy will loop around the edge just like that. Or if you wanted to send four, let's say you were playing somebody and they were running like a bunch strong type of look on you and you wanted to send four, I would slant it to the left this time. We can drop this guy into coverage. And as you'll see here, we get the lock on. And normally that slot corner will be a little better than that. Now with this specific send four, when you send four this way, one of the things you might want to do is you might want to you might want to um, get a little bit more closer in this area here or just run in a little bit more. As you see, get that guard to look at you. But sending five, it, sending five is really good because it's hard to pick up this specific send five with a blocked running back on either side. Normally, you're going to be weak to one side. So you'll see here, we're going to try to send five again. And now we can you know, basically get the blitz to come in, as you see pretty consistently against a send, against a send, um, against a blocked running back. So that is, uh, the concepts there. And then obviously ultimately another thing that you can do is let's say they go to 
this type of look here. You can always, every now and then, just leave your D-line spread out if you want to send the edge blitz and get a little bit better of a chance of this thing looping in. That time the blocked running back got it. As I said, I think the blocked running back is really the key to get this blitz to be blocked. Another thing you can do out of cover six Willie we didn't touch on yet is you can do a loop blitz like this, and then you can kind of send the pressure uh, basically like this, and then you can kind of craft the coverage however you want. So as you see here, now what we're going to do in this situation, we're still going to take that step to the outside. And a lot of times that crossfire blitz angle will actually just come in on that sideline there. Got a little bumped up there, but let's show it to you one more time. This time we'll actually go to bunch strong, block the running back, and again, just pinch the defense, send the slot corner. If you want to contain, you can contain. I don't think you necessarily have to in this. We'll go ahead and contain here. And you just get out in coverage. And a lot of times, you're going to get somebody coming free at the quarterback. One last little blitz that you can do out of this is once they start to kind of adjust to things, you can go to cover four quarters. You can kind of drag this guy um, over this direction and then just hit circle one time and you're back on your user. You know, and then like, and the reason I would use this is if they're doing, you know, a lot of four man pass pro over here. Now I'm going to loop this way and you just kind of see how you can kind of craft different styles of pressure from dollar, which is ultimately why I think it's the best defense in the game, because there's a lot of different ways to to get the blitz to work. Right. We could we could send especially against four strong. Um, you know, you could do things like moving this guy over here, sending five like this perfectly fine a lot of people like to run bunch strong and look at the pressure just scream in off the edge so this is uh, a little mini scheme out of dollar that i personally really really like to use right now it starts with the cover six willy but then everything from there you start to get different pressures and i think that's what makes dollar super good is that there's just so many ways to blitz from it ultimately you know one of them is going to give your opponent a ton of trouble Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to check out our full dollar defensive ebook, the link is in the description below.